So you were black in this game. Yeah. And she played e4. Okay. You went e5. Okay. So basically, uh, I have made this uh, concept, which is, and I, I basically, uh, after seeing your games, I worked on it like yesterday night. So if you look at look at this, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's called it's a full uh, kind of a diagram that this happens. But okay, the main thing is, <laughs> oh, wow. uh, I've okay. tried to uh, kind of equate chess with boxing, uh -huh. and uh, every time the opponent threatens something of yours, it's like he's going to punch you. Hmm. Okay, so uh, let's say there are three things in chess. One is the punch that. And this is for both sides. Punch means basically attack. The second one is blocking. Because if someone tries to attack, you try to block. And that also, your opponent can block, you can block. And the third one is when there is no punch, there is no block. There is just, you just make a move, basically. It could, if it's opening, it's about development. Like you bring out your pieces. And if it is middle game, then it's about making some kind of a plan. Right? Okay, so keeping that in mind, like these three points, we should review every move as to what happens. So whenever there is a punch in the position, mm. you have to do something that is known as value check. Mm. Value check mm. matlab is that punch really a punch, a real punch or a fake punch to you? Mm. Mm. Okay, because many times, let's say a boxer, he's just coming at you and he's just doing something, maybe he might not, it's not a real punch, it's not going to hit you. But mm, mm. it could be that it can hit you. So you have to, whenever there is a punch, you have to. So let's say first move that she played here is not really a punch or anything. Yeah, It's just a move because it attacks mm. nothing in your camp. When you do this, this is also just a move. You are not attacking. Suppose you played this move, then suddenly this is a punch in the position. Mm. Then you do the value check as to what is happening here. Okay, maybe he takes, she takes, you take. What is the situation? But okay, let's let's first check the game. E4, E5. Now she played knight out. Is this a punch? This is a punch for my uh, uh, pawn. Exactly. But now you must do value check. Whenever there is a punch, you do value check because whether it's a real punch or not. And what is value check? Value check is nothing but if you are going to lose something more than what you are going to gain, then that is a real punch. Matlab, tumhara jada jane wala hai. Agar nahi jane wala hai, let's imagine that you have a pawn here. Theek hai? This is not a real punch. It's just that she is threatening here, but you are going to take it back. So you'll get three, she'll lose, uh, you'll lose one. So it's not a real, it's a fake punch. So whenever your opponent makes a move, you think whether it's a punch or not. If it is a real punch, then you have certain things that you can do. If it is not, then you can do certain things. We'll talk about it. So first, knight f3. This is is this a real punch or a fake punch according to you? Uh, this is a punch for one. Yes. But, uh, and you will because get... it's. Uh, if I also move a knight to g6, then I also give an equal punch. But if I take my knight from b to, let's say, d6, c6. then c6, sorry, then they better not punch unless they are able to move their bishop to b5. That's right. how I evaluated the previous move. And somebody told me to do it. I was like, but why? But then I was like, okay. Right. So this is this is known as so basically the threat. This is a real punch because she'll get one and you'll get nothing. So whenever what she's getting more than what you are losing, it's a real punch. So now, as you rightly said, whenever there is a punch coming at you, you can either decide to block, which means protect it, or you can decide to punch equal or higher, which you did. You did an another equal punch here. Mm. Correct. Mm. But you could also do this block. And 
a block. So you know there are three moves. Yeah, we talked about. There is punch, there is block, and there is a normal move that is basically move uh, when nothing happens. Whenever you can block and also develop something that is move, mm -hmm. you know, bring out your pieces. That's very good. And in this case, when you can punch again and bring out a piece, also this is good. So both these moves were pretty fine. Mm -hmm. However, in chess. That what we are learning, right? What I'm teaching you right now is move to move, right? It's attack mm. ho hai, bachao. Coach mar hai, dekho. This is very important mm. because in uh, in your games, if you see the major mistakes are giving up a piece or taking mm. something wrong. So we are learning this. But in chess, mm. there is something that goes beyond move to move, which is known as tactics. Mm. You might have seen ki pin ho gaya, fork ho gaya. Mm. And these mm. things, like for example, when it takes here and then you take here then then suddenly tactics start coming up mm. like because and this is something which is very difficult to teach right now in this one hour that we are going to spend or or 45 minutes and that is why this is something which you can try on the board like for example summit or your trap but it was clearly uh, not the best because he he took it for granted that oppo this is basically a trap in which black loses if white does this. But he was sure that Kanis wouldn't do it. And so his point was you will do this and you will put the same trap here. Okay. Mm. So, so that was a very uh, Samai-like way of teaching because it's like, you know, immediately you might get a point which worked out. But I want mm. to show you something which may go beyond just this two games maybe let's say we work even tomorrow or day after you will build up mm. on it basically mm. and yeah, that yeah. is where, where uh, it will be very useful so yeah so tactics may or may not work uh, in that in that case okay so this okay. takes she took now again you have to do is there a punch that is coming at you now you see the knight has reached here what are the squares it is attacking in your position I mean, both my D and F pawns are vulnerable. So this is a punch, right? Now you have to yeah. assess, do the value check whenever there's a punch. Is that a real punch or a fake punch? Um, I mean, technically, it stands to lose more. So it's a fake punch because then it'll give me a knight. Fantastic. So basically, you now know that you don't need to worry about the punch. So now you can think about whether you want to punch something, yeah. you want to move or you want to do something, you know, like now you don't have to worry about her threats, anything of that sort. So let's say you took here, okay, which is fine, but tactically it's a mistake because of queen e2. Now this is a beautiful move because the moment you move your knight, there is a discovered yeah. check that is going to come Ooh. out and the move which actually would have led to your loss is this move and you lose the queen with a check. So going back, like let's look at Kanis, what she did. She did d3. Now, is this a punch? Um, she's right on black. This is a punch. It is a punch. So is, block. Is it a value? Uh, do the value check. It's a real punch or not? It's a real punch because the knight has more value and there's nothing protecting it. Absolutely. So now what do you do when there is a punch? Now there are two things you can do. One is you can block. That is you can run mm -hmm. away. Or you can attack equal or more value mm. in the position. And mm. generally, like uh, beginners who start off, they want to always run away or block. Like that's blocking because it's easier. They don't mm. want to give like, but you can always, you can be, as you go higher, there will always be more counter punches that will happen. He's punching, mm. you are punching. So... What would you play here? Um, it can literally just attack one pawn. So I would defend because there's no point giving up a knight for a pawn. So what would you play? I would move to... Technically, I'd move to uh, D6. D sorry, D6 or to F6. Yes. Either or. Now, the better move here is f6 because 
D D six you can keep this pawn open. It's a central pawn. You would like to move it at some point. So mm. blocking a central pawn is not a great idea. And then it's a good move. If, yeah. Plus the bishop at C also doesn't get to threaten our queen. Mm. Ah yes. You mean you mean uh, this way, right? Yeah. Correct. Um, but remember that punches can be fake. For example, you do this. And he comes. She comes here now. It's a punch. She's attacking your queen, right? Mm -hmm. But value check, and you do the value check. You're like, oh, three points, nine points. But mm -hmm. you also must check if the piece. Now this is a very unique case of punch, where there is a standoff, because mm -hmm. he's punching. You are also punching back because your piece can. There are there are punches like this. When one piece attacks, you are also attacking. Mm -hmm. So in this particular case, you have to check if the piece is actually protected or not, because you will just take mm. it. Correct. Yeah, that's it's right now. It's not protected at exactly. all. So you'll just take it. Mm. Right. So this is this would be a bad punch. Like this would be a major fake punch. Like it is mm. not just a fake punch. It's a punch that सामने वाला ही पूरा आप मेरा मारोगे मैं आपका मारूंगा सो हियर टिल नाउ इट्स ऑल गुड वॉट यू डिड नाउ I did it because I wanted it to take my knight so I could take the knight and then the pawn and then the king. Yes. Uh, but then I forgot that they also have two moves. When by the time I have three. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we we right now focus move to move, right? Because I'm telling you, if you uh, make sure that you take care of the punches that are coming at you and you punch mm. right, you will mm. most likely do very well in your games because in your your mm. opponents are bound to give you fake punches and are bound to give uh, sort of make make wrong moves here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Kanis went this. Is this a punch? Ah, uh, this is a punch to my queen, but not a legit punch. I could have taken the bishop, or I could have taken the knight. Yes. I don't know what I took. Very good. Now you you are much calm right now. So you did this, mm -hmm. but during the game, you played this move. So. You were like, oh, it's a real. You gave respect to her punch, mm. but actually, mm. it was a fake punch. Now, calm down and try to think. What are the possibilities here? As you said, this is there, this is there. Is there another one possibility which is amazing here? Yeah, a check to the king at uh, b four. Uh, then yes. it wouldn't do anything. It's a. It's just a check. The king will move ahead. Yes, and so, life will be good. So think about the piece that is punching you right now. So check is very good, and it would maybe block also, or the knight could block uh, when you give a check. Can you take this bishop hmm. in another way? The knight is there. The knight yes. could take the bishop, and this would be an epic move because now not only do you win a piece. But look at this. Give it a check. Mm. This is a hanging piece. I mean, this is now pinned to the king. Anyway. Very good. It's a pinned piece. So this you will most likely win if they don't save it. So so here's here's the thing. This was a big blunder, right? And whenever your opponent offers you something, and if it is if you do the value check, and you oh. realize that okay, this is a real threat. Then next thing you have to check is whether that piece is defended or not, and whether you can capture it. The real threat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you went f six. Now, what you did here is you created. Some real threats, yeah. You punched basically. So if you see, mm. you are punching here. You are punching here. Correct. Mm. Your queen is also punching here. Uh, it's a nice position for you. She took. 
Hmm. So now you have a choice what to take with. And choices are generally the ones where the true skill of a player is shown, right? Because hmm. it's like this is also there, this is also there. It's no longer just mathematical like we are discussing now, right now. Ki kuch mar hai to bacha hai. Now you have a choice. Hmm. So this is where your art comes in. Do you want to take this? Do you want to take this? Do you want to take this? There are hmm. like three options. Which I would ideally want to take uh, with the queen. I take the the knight. Why? Because then, if the bishop takes the pawn, I have another pawn defending it anyway. Right. So this is not a real punch here because three, and you have you will lose only one. So the, so this also has the added benefit of punching the bishop again. And what hmm. is another square that you are punching here? Um, the e4 and the uh, b2 because it's undefended. Very good. Excellent. So, and when you do a value check on both these squares, you will see that both of them are undefended. So, you're getting one and you're losing nothing. So, they are both real punches that you want to throw. So, when you have like three punches in a position, that's very difficult for your opponent to defend. Right, mm -hmm. uh, it's almost impossible. So this was a very good move that you could have played mm -hmm. because then you have like mm -hmm. many punches. What you did is you took with the pawn the bishop, which is also fine because you have mm -hmm. one more punch here, which is intact. Mm -hmm. And as you said, if he moves away, if she moves away, you want to capture this one behind it. Mm -hmm. She went bishop here. Mm -hmm. Is this a punch? Uh, no, it's not punching anything. Correct. So basically, she did not follow this principle because you were punching her. She should have mm. either defended that punch or she should have tried to create some threat at you, like a counter mm. punch. But she went, Ki, koi problem nahi. I'll give. So now what should you do? Technically, I can take the knight. Yes. Still. Yeah. It's a great move, yeah. It's not just technically, it's like the best move here. Mm. Right. So you took it. Very good. So okay. now when you when you take such a thing, you are gaining a lot of material, which is good mm. in chess. Now, if you count the number of pieces, you are a oh, oh, how much material mm. are you up? Um how much are we up? I don't know, numbers wise. I, it usually gives at the bottom of the screen. Yes, but you should do it on your own. It's oh, a very, man, very important, very important. Not mathematics. It's just like you match it. Knight for a knight, bishop for a bishop, rook two rooks for two rooks, queen for a oh, queen. Oh, like that. Okay, okay. So I thought you like are, number. Wise. No, no, no. So you have a extra bishop. So it's like you have your three points up. Mm. So bishop is worth three oh, points. Oh, like that. Both rooks, both knights. Uh, sorry, both rooks are both both people are both rooks. Knights, I have one. They have one. Bishop, we both have one. You have two. No, I have two bishops. Got it. Some three. Mm. So you are three points up, and it's very good to do this during the game because you know, ki ha, I'm up material. So mm -hmm. generally, when you are up material, I think Samay also told you yesterday. Exchange. You can exchange down. Keep exchanging. Equal and down. Correct. Because at the end, you will have that one extra left, which is a nice thing to have. The football theorem, no? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, in the game, she castled now. Okay. And now again, mm -hmm. is a moment of art for you. Uh, it's a moment of art because you have options. Mm -hmm. And when there are options, Correct, yeah. it's, uh, it's always tricky. So do you want? Yeah. To, so now here's the thing. Okay, have you seen any games of COB? Like at any point, like comment? Yeah, uh, all the matches that uh, uh, I log in, and then there are always two matches before mine. So I watch those, uh -huh. and then I watch so all the matches. So you are listening to the commentary, or yeah, listen? except for mine. Ah, okay. So uh, have you seen any games of Suhani? Yeah, yeah. I saw the one that she played with Kinnis. I saw the. Uh, uh, Sorry, I saw the first match that she had played with me, so I checked that out as well. I haven't seen any because she wasn't playing my team member, so I didn't see post that. Right. So 
what she does generally and this is something that you can remember because it's, it's like a shortcut okay what mm. suhani does is that she uses two of her pieces mm. generally usually a knight and a queen to mm. launch an attack against one of the pawns near the king mm. and then opponent is generally not very careful she is able to win the game and now again her idea is knight h4 queen f3 yes, queen g3 absolutely. she likes doing this oh yes yes exactly knight ko leke aao aur queen ko leke aao aur fir yaar let's see if she does it this time today oh, if oh, she is going please. for the idea <laughs> bye suwani sha ye marne ke baad threat is queen g4 check and queen g7 check mate it. oh my god Oh man. man, we are just this close, this close. Mating two है दोस्तों अगर king को नहीं बचाया तो कुछ भी किया अगर इधर queen queen move कर दिया कुछ by chance then it's mate in two. Knight e7 could also be a saving move. Kani's thinking right now is great because if Kani's does not think now, she's going to get mated in two moves. Oh, she blunders. Suhani mate करने वाली है. She's going to find queen g4, queen g7 mate. Samay. Game is over. Yes. Oh, she finds it. Check. Let's look at Suhani's face. Ah, and Queen G7 is checkmate. Oh. You know, Vidit bola, ye game aada ghanta chalega. Main jaake aata hu. Oh, it's already against Suhani Shah. Oh my God. Like, what? More the same idea. I think we can call this idea Suhani's idea from this now on. Yeah. Absolutely. How many Queen or Knight ko saath mein? because if you look at this now look at you are punching here you said you are punching here but what people will not notice easily is that you are also punching here right but it's a fake punch because you are punching and it'll take back the with the king oops sorry like this so you will lose 9 and you gain only 1 so doesn't make sense right to punch that way but what if you had a backer to the queen there mm. just like how suhani is always trying to launch two pieces or that one square so wherever mm. you have a fake punch you can make it a real punch by attaching some kind of support so can you do that here towards the king side no yeah um I mean, I have the bishop that I can I can move my pawn and then the bishop because by the time the knight gets there, it'll be one, two, three, four yes. moves. Knight is too too takes too much time, and for you to reach this knight here is also very tough to in order yeah. to add a power here. So I would have done. Well. I think somewhere late game, I'm remembering. I was trying to figure the rook out because I want to do a back rank check. Mm -hmm. That's why I ignored everything, and I was a back rank, back rank. And by the time game changed, I was like, "Oh shit, I can't do back rank anyway." Um, the, uh, I would say the 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 rook at the the rook at h eight mm -hmm. and the pawn at h seven are the two pieces that I can attack that side. Yes, true. But the main problem is that you can't remove this pawn. If you could, that would have been great. then you are already launching an attack but unfortunately mm. this pawn to remove it is not in your control because pawns only move straight they capture cross and no piece is going to come near it for now so you need to take another piece which will help your queen to launch an attack here give it a back backer i mean the pawn at g5 is but, the closest but what will happen is you will go like this like this and somehow your queen's path only will get blocked so that's yeah. also and also he can just take it you know like when your pawn reaches here he can just take it so something else the bishop is the only other option the f8 bishop yes how do i get it there combine i it. can combine what do you mean by combine combine means a combination when one square is there that's the key element of teamwork in chess if you can combine the forces of two pieces 
on one square? Mm. Oh, like that, take care, huh? When two, pe two pieces are attacking the same square. Right? That's yes. what it is, no? Yes. But you can attack it in different ways, yeah? You can sometimes mm. go direct and attack. Sometimes you can just you know, be a supporter behind. So here, the bishop can support the queen. How? Um, if the bishop comes to d5, then d6. Uh, it's a, it's like, sorry, d6, like how you do a battery, yes, like the rook good. battery. Very good. So this rook. is the correct move. And if, let's say, they play this move, what do you do? This move, this move doesn't do any damage to any of us. Mm -hmm. So now you do, I'll you do, where are you punching and where, is it a real punch? It's not a real punch and if I move my queen there to take it, then the knight will take it. So I'll still stick with the left because if that happens, it's a checkmate. Absolutely. So you're saying this move, right? Yeah. It's a checkmate. The game is over. Mm. So, so mm. here is the thing. Sometimes when you have a fake punch in a position, check if you can make it into a real punch by adding a battery or adding another force there. This okay. Is, we could just wait here. Let's before think about before combination. We were talking about something before, uh, before combination and before value check. Um, it's basically, punching, real punch, fake punch, moving, yeah. blocking. So these are the concepts which you have learned, and I think they are kind of simple. You uh, say if I teach you ten concepts, it's very difficult to remember. But if you th keep the boxing thing in mind. You'll be able to visualize it better. Ki, uh, you know, punch, value check. Karo. Amesha punch ke baad value check karna hi hai. And if the value check is in your favor, then great. If it is not, you have to take some measures and that way. Okay. So you did, you took this. Now it's a good move because you got a pawn. He's not taking it. It was, you did the value check. You said, Ek mar hai. no one is taking here. Correct. Mm. So you took it. In chess, however, as I told you, there are tactics. And tactics mm. don't follow these punches, value check, defense and block and all. So suddenly, white has a very powerful move here. And it's unfortunate, but it's a part of the game. And again, you might find it in the game today. Great. But if you don't find it, that's okay. So here she had a fantastic move. Check. She had a check on the king at f7, no? Yes, but is that a real punch? Now, remember, if she comes to f7, it's a punch, right? Because she wants to attack mm. your king. Is that a real mm. punch? Oh, no, no, no. I, I mean, more than the bishop, the queen could also come to h5 and give a check. Yes, but again... You give a check there, right? And when it's a check, it's a dangerous punch because you have to respond to it. So how do you respond to that check? By moving the pawn at g7 to g6. So when you do that, you need to do the... You are then punching, correct? Mm -hmm. Look, you are it. punching. And if you do the value check here, if she mm. takes, is that a fake punch by her? I mean, is your move g6 good? Can she take it? Yeah, uh, yeah. if she takes it, I mean, I can take the pawn at g7, h7 and take it to g6. So it's a great, it's great for you. So basically this mm. check doesn't do much. Although mm. it's a check, you can always block it. 
Mm-hmm. So here's the move. I'm not going to. Uh, it's rook here. Mm. Now, why is this move very strong? Because uh, number one, it threatens to take my queen and then a check. It's a punch. It's a real punch. Five points attacks nine points mm. plus. It's a it's a standoff. Correct. Queen can also take it. Mm. Rook can. But the problem is it's defended. Imagine this queen wasn't there. It would have been a bad move. But the queen mm. is defending it. So now the problem is you would, when it's a real punch, you have to mm. either block or you have to attack equal value something. And the equal mm. value of a queen is that you have attack karna hoga, but it's not possible to do that. Also, this is coming. So you need to block somehow. You need to run. However, the problem is if you run here, it won't allow you to run. Because of? Mm. The king being in exactly. a check, discover check. So this is a massive, massive pin here. And this, you would have lost the queen here. Hmm. Okay. But can what is, did I do? Well, you, the best you could do here is that you say, okay, I'm losing. Uh, I'm losing nine. Let me at least take five. And you give up your queen. Hmm. It's not the best, but well, what to do? Your queen was pinned. Hmm. Okay, she goes f3 now. Look at this. Is it a punch? It is a punch. It, is a, it is a very massive punch. Is it a do the value check? Mm, value yeah. check is basically um, she attacking one you. One and nine. Yes. So yeah, one attacking nine. So now again, it's a standoff again. Because it's attacking you, you, you can attack it. Right, because you can also take it. Hmm. But should you do it? Is it defended? No, not. Yes, it is defended so, by the pawn at g2. Very good. So basically here, you cannot take it. Also, the value hmm. check is in her favor. So now, you see whether you want to block. But hmm. also possible is that you have another punch somewhere. Yeah, a check uh, at e3. Okay, now think. That is one thing. Check. Check is not equal to checkmate. So he'll she can run away. Is there any other punch that you can see? Yeah, the rook is hanging. Sorry, the bishop is hanging at c4. And you did beautifully. You in the game you took it. So that's very Oh, good. I did. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, the blunders are yet to come. I forgot the beige ones where it's just like well, you would see. I was just like anyway. No, you you did a pretty well till now. Now she did this. Is it a punch? Real punch. Yeah. It is a real punch for the what queen. I think I. What did I do? I must have retreated. No, don't think. What did you do? You, you, you. What will you do? I um, will move to C. Um, C5. Fantastic. Giving a check to the king. You saved it. So you blocked with the loop. Now, mm. see, it's a, it's a very rare moment in the game now where she's not punching you. You are not punching mm. her real, any real. Okay, you are hitting her here and you are hitting her here. But are any of these real punches? Can you do a value check? On both no, aspects. these are fake punches because the queen will take the pawn and the queen and the and the queen will take the queen and rook queen will take the rook and the king will take the queen. Right. So you know the value. By the way, uh, just to be sure, you know the value of all the pieces, right? Nine five. The nine five three one. Right. Bishop no. knight are three. Rook is five. And queen is nine mm. and pawn is one. So you know that these yeah. are all fake punches. So now mm. comes the moment. Where again you become an artist from a math mathematician. Because now choice mm. is. And this mm. is where uh, you need to... Here you have guidelines to help you. Develop mm. your pieces. Control the center. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, bring out all your pieces. Castle your king to safety. So let's try mm. to follow some of that. What do you do? Mm. I think I bring my bishop to... F five. No, there's a pawn here. You can't bring it. No, uh, bishop from F um, F eight. 
to d6 sorry yeah this is what you did in the game good job now look at this this was a very nice moment in the game she moved her king here mm. and you were like what what and i really was impressed by the fact that you were very alert and you said mm. again you said are there any punches in the position look carefully there was a rook hanging yes which is why i was like ah, am i missing something well you check now if you take the rook if i take the rook i'm taking five away from her and she can she take back anything of her no it's completely unprotected it doesn't so this have this is a game. huge mistake by her huge hmm. Hmm. so you took it now you hmm. already had an extra bishop right hmm. now you also took a rook i'm rook up as well yeah hmm. you are you are like a lot of material ahead you had two extra bishops plus a rook okay hmm. now she did this punch is it a punch punch to my pawn at g7 it's Very undefended good. any other and... punch look one piece when it comes it gives multiple punches like a queen is such a massive puncher uh, it will come and mm. uh, hit you in many places so you have to be very yeah. careful where where all it is hitting uh one is g7 the other one is d6 and the other one is a7 yes and now comes the most important part you have to, queen can also punch behind and this is which you, this is where you have to look ki piche bhi ja sakti hai queen did i take the queen please tell me i did i didn't you did not because oh man because it's it, yeah i don't look back correct look back for back attack what do you call it look for back attack yeah look for backward moves Oh man. See now it looks very obvious right but during the game it's not so much even now when i asked you where is the queen punching you looked hmm. at here here and here but you forgot that it's back. also punching your queen so it's not correct, a, correct. so it's uh, remember whenever you make a mistake it is not always that it is a silly thing it could be a pattern right so it is something that mm. you don't look backwards okay so now it's your move what do you do i wish i took the queen but i have a feeling bad news is coming <laughs> um, there is another the thing is this is a beautiful move because you value check 9 9 even if this queen was defended by the way it's okay right when value check when it's equal material you can take it 9 to 9 let's say the pawn was here the queen was defended you could take the queen to take back it's an equal exchange and it's good because the football theorem because favors it up anyway right correct yeah but here she is like okay ab is take it and if you do now where is your queen punching uh my queen is punching the rook yes and uh, and the check as well and this check is fatal yeah because so this is checkmate, a yeah. back rank mate now tell yeah, me ab you saw that there was a punch yeah by taking the queen but is there something here in chess a check is sometimes overrides a normal punch because it like forces the opponent to do something check correct to yahan pe is there something more powerful you can do than just taking the queen and uh i could move my queen to e1 yes now is that a checkmate i e a checkmate yeah because he won't be able to move anywhere the king is no, not one no think carefully end. think carefully this is where is it a checkmate because when it, when there is a check there are three ways to deal with a check you can either move the king you can capture the piece that is giving a check or you can block the check like block matlab kuch beech mein dal do so is there something coming in between nothing look at backward moves
Yeah, the queen will come back. Exactly. So But then if the queen comes back now look. oh there yeah punch yeah you are punching she's a it's a standoff mm -hmm. but is this queen unprotected no protected by so, the protected by the king yeah by the king right so now in this position you have to think to yourself see this is this is how chess gets very interesting mm -hmm. ki ye wala check agar main dunga Hmm. So it comes back, right? Here. Hmm. And I have another option which is to take directly the queen. What should I choose? Hmm. What would hmm. you choose? Uh technically taking the queen because the queen is hanging. Yes. And then Yes. Yeah. So take this. But if the queen was not coming back, then this would have been a checkmate and you should have preferred it. But here, hmm. so that is where uh options are it's very important to weigh the options, but okay. If you if you would have taken the queen, no one reprimands you. It's like great move. It's a it's a very nice. In the game, you went bishop c5. Of course I did. Of but, course I but did. But luckily, luckily, it's not a very bad move because the, you punched queen, her. Queen. You punched mm. her. If you do the value check, it's a beautiful punch because the bishop. If she takes the queen, your bishop somehow defends it. If mm -hmm. if she takes the bishop, your queen somehow defends it. So, mm. you know, somehow you, I don't think it was planned, but it worked out. No. It worked out. I think the only thing I wanted to do when I moved this was, uh, I, mm, I won't say intentional battery, but like, I I think something like, I'm not, I'm remembering it. Otherwise, I was like, why would I put it there? Because the bishop is un... Exactly. If you you are punching, but it, if you do the value check, it's just a free piece. It depends. I'll have to see the video, and if at this point I went like ah like this, then you know. It's okay. So the thing is, she took, you took back, right? Which is correct. Now she played knight to c3. Is this a punch? See, uh, today you are going to use this a lot. The moment your opponent moves, ask, is this a punch? Not a punch. Not a punch. Very good. So, the point is, if it is not a punch, now you become an artist. You can mm. either move, you can either mm. punch back, I, I mean, you can create your own punch, or you can mm. develop something. Um, I think I, I think I castled, I'm not sure. Um, if you would have castled, very impressive, mm. okay, very impressive, because the moment you get, now, remember, moment you get time, in the game, do these things. What are these things? Develop your pieces. Mm -hmm. You know this. Control the center. That is, mm -hmm. move the pawn. See, these are the four squares of the center. So maybe move the pawn or develop a knight or bring your king to safety. And that is where mm -hmm. you castle. So any of mm -hmm. these moves would be wonderful. Okay. You went h5 now does that develop a piece no does that control the center does that bring your no, king you to know, safety why did you do it no i think i did it uh, because and you'll see me try to move it again i wanted the pawn um uh, my pawn at 5 h5 to go up to h3 so that another pawn could take it and then pawn pawn check but if you think Is, about it uh, now with our new knowledge you come here and you captured, you punched. Hmm. Are you gaining anything? Because no, I'm not. it's an equal hmm. trade. It's not even that you're getting anything for free. So what plan you made investing four moves is not really so powerful. Hmm. Right. But again, you are artist. You decided to pursue this path when given time. Hmm. But you could have chosen a more steady path like castle or knight c6 or the pawn. Okay. Mm. H5, mm. she went here. Now, is this a punch? Um, No, but the, the knight can take the pawn. It's it hanging. is. Then it is a punch. The moment it attacks one of your piece, it is a punch. The question oh, is yeah. whether it's a real punch or a fake punch. You have to do the value check. Now, what are the, what are the pieces it's punching? Come on. 
Uh, it's punching um, the pawn at g5. Yes. And and the bishop, now that I see very good. at f2, and I'm sure that's what the knight took. Yes. Because I remember at this point, I was like, oh, damn, I wish I had seen that. Yeah, I remember this. So, the backward move again. See, it's a, it's a pattern. You're not looking backwards. It's a pattern. Yeah. Look for backward moves. I've written it down just before I'm writing it again. So that when I review it, I'm like, I thought of it four times. <laughs> that means those are the amount of times that I've not done it. Okay. So here comes the question now. He's punching you. You did the value check. Did you do the value check? Is it a real punch, fake punch? It's a real punch. It's a real punch to my bishop. Because it's an equal, equal trade. But... Uh, Tech, it's not even a trade as much as he just take it and just reduces it. my advantage. He'll take your three, you'll not get anything. So then what? So what should you do? When the opponent is punching you, you have either punch an equal value back mm. or you block. Block or basically pull back. Right. 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 Mm. I see you are very tired, but uh, we, we can keep going, right? Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. please, please. This is all great, yeah. No, because um, this is this is not, uh, this must be heavy to you, but let's do it for a few more minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, man, that bishop, okay, anyway. Hmm. Uh, what would I have done? I would have... I, I basically have nothing to gain in that position uh, other than the fact that I think this because my bishop was there, that's why I wanted to promote that. Uh, that's why I want to take the pawn up because it'll be a checkmate. No, it won't. You know, it won't. Because no. imagine even if your pawn reaches here, it won't have another person. As we remember, you need to combine this. There, you can't have two pieces. If you have two pieces here, and this pawn is supported from behind. It's a mate. It's a checkmate. The king can't move anywhere. But because it's mm. undefended, the king will take it from here. Right? Mm. So so then it won't be anything. It won't be anything. Yeah, got it. Yeah. See, that's what another thing I, I used to get confused till day before yesterday. So now it's clear. Which is that can if I give a check to the king, can the king capture it? Um of course it can, but then now I know that with clarity that if there is that if that square is defended again, then it can't. Very good. Correct. Mm. And it is important uh, to get rid of such doubts because mm. they keep coming up. It might they might seem a bit silly or something, but you should you should get that clarified because Yeah, I know it's so silly because I'm like it's like it's like basic math, but then somewhere it's just like fuses your logic when you're correct. so zoomed into correct. a piece. Um, uh, I should have moved my bishop back to um, technically right now the bishop is doing nothing. I should have moved it to d4. That way it would also threaten the rook. Very good. Excellent. So then you are not only blocking but you are also punching. And when you can do yeah. multiple things that's great. Mm. That's a good move. Yeah. Right. It's a good move. So this would have been nice. You went this, which is a which would have been nice because you are developing a piece, but you lost the wrong timing. Yeah, wrong yeah. timing. Now here, imagine with this newfound knowledge. Okay, today that we are discussing, mm -hmm. this is the position. Now fresh position. Don't remember that this game is a continuing thing. Itne move okay? Fresh mm -hmm. position in front of you. What would you play here? So first question to ask is: Is he punching? Is she punching anything? In your position. Currently nothing is being punched. Okay. Are you punching something? Currently nothing being. I am punching either. So what are you now? Developing. Yeah, you are an artist. You decide what to do here. Artist developing. Um, oh, I should have moved the... I think I would have castled but I should long castle technically because then short castle has nothing to protect the king um, I should have moved the pawn to pawn at d7 to so d5 good. so good excellent excellent 
because center control developing a piece and getting ready to long castle even if you short castle not at all bad the king would be pretty oh. decent it's yes you are right it's a little bit exposed but no she has so few pieces to attack and plus no bishops so right but you went this so you were in that as you said you were fixated with that idea check yeah. here so it's a it's a punch but you knight to e7 blocked it mm. now she went here my pawn now your pawn is getting punched is it a real punch mm. or a fake punch it's a real punch there's nothing defending it very good so now what do you do uh i mean if i move the pawn ahead also it'll it get knocked out um i think i was looking for my knight move so that it can protect um but that because if that knight also moves then my king is pinned basically right. again mm. is a disco well technically uh technically i should should move uh d7 to d5 so right. that my bishop can come into the play so you basically have I mean, given up on the pawn sacrifice. you are like okay i can't save you little one let's mm. let's do some better things and very good move here but what if i said you could actually defend it here sorry you lost it huh? yeah i said what if i said that you could actually defend this pawn here mm hmm Oh yeah, correct. The rook to um, rook to h five. Fantastic, fantastic. Very good. So it is possible to defend. Now whether this is a good move or not is debatable because your rook is kind of <laughs> yeah. locked in there. Yeah. So yeah. I would even say your move d five is much better than trying to save that pawn. But technically, hmm. you can save it. Okay, he she took. is there a punch in the position is the knight hitting something is the rook hitting something is there a punch knight is hitting nothing right now very good rook is there a punch from the rook to my knight yeah yes is it a real punch or Does a fake it... punch it's um it's a fake punch because um the king will take the knight position and yeah then not in it be on so five versus three right five points for the rook three yeah. for knight so five it's points a fake punch three for three. very good so now you have no so there is no real punch in the position so now yeah you can do what you want you can you can basically become an artist now mm. and as an artist Uh, what is this? What happened in the game as well? Yes. Uh, I would have then. Hmm. I would have moved my bishop to where? I mean, I would have moved my bishop technically, or the knight. Ah, uh, but I would have moved my bishop to um. um f f5 uh that way it's just like another pawn that's attacked but it's still a hanging pawn yeah. undefended i you, you punched there but more importantly you got your pieces out now remember these are all made Castle. very huge pieces right five points three points if you are not going to get them out andar andar mar jayenge so the aim of the game mm. is ki sabko leke aao game mein sirf do teen se mat khelo mm. get everyone into the game So bishop f5 is a is a very good move. She played knight e6. Now is this a punch? Uh, it is a punch to my pawn at c. Yes. Um, uh, c7. Yes. And yeah, that's a real One punch more? because I'm defending. Is there any other punch that this knight is giving? Oh yeah, on uh, a pawn at g7 as well. Okay, very good. So now. you have a question it's oh. a real it's a real punch coming at you 
so what do you do either you uh block it mm. you take it you take you stop the punch or you go and punch something of equal or higher value please tell me i didn't castle here because if i castle then literally it'll get the rook also no you can't castle also uh, technique uh, in chess rules when the knight when any piece looks at the king's path when it's castling it can't go so let's say you go here but you are moving from this square right so it's a check here uh, so you can't castle oh uh, okay 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 it can be a clear path as well right it's not only that the that you are in check so let's say if you are in check you can't castle if the middle square is in check you can't castle and if the square you are going to is in check you can't castle basically you can't castle in all these cases you you know why i know this one second yeah yeah you couldn't castle basically one yeah second. <laughs> i tried yeah and open the door I know it because I was trying to castle, and I was like, "Why is it not happening?" Very good. Now that I look at it with at let, you know what happened? I was, uh, uh, yeah. So then I, now that I see it, I'm like, "Oh my god!" I think I tried to castle with a stupid move. Yeah. So now you know another important rule in chess. Okay, so what do you, what do you do now? Sometimes the knight is such a uh, nimble creature; it's attacking so many different spots. it's very difficult to save everything mm. so what do you do uh i would of course uh, you know um i know what i think a dumb move that i did was to bring the bishop back and take the knight but then my rook would have taken it and it's undefended but what i should have done why is it a dumb move to... can you tell me because uh because if the bishop if the bishop takes my, uh, my knight if my bishop takes his uh, their knight the rook <laughs> uh, e1 has the opportunity to take my bishop out and it will be completely undefended as there are no but, but remember pawns. how much is the bishop worth 3 and the knight 3 so in a way if you took 3 and you gave 3 it's an equal trade so it's not a silly move oh like that yeah i can i was material up so i could trade down yeah. correct and mostly even if you are materially equal equal trades are okay they are not bad hmm so don't don't be upset when you can do equal trades so this is a equal trade hmm now here we are what do you do Is there a is there a punch in the position? Yeah, it's a punch to my knight. Is it a real punch? No, my king will protect it. So now it's your you are an artist. What do you do? And be careful because you what you want to do since a long time. Play it in your head awesome. and think if it leads to something undefended. Because what was your king doing until now? As you are all the time saying. rook is attacking here king is defending so the moment you castle yeah as soon as castle my knight is hanging so what can you do now uh hmm i bring my rook at h a2 h a2 h6 why are you bringing the rook there uh because then will hmm Then let me move ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, what was the reason? I was bringing from h eight to a six so that it, it threatens the rook at uh, e six, but then he'll just go one step. But he ahead. will take it. No, it will be. Is it good for you if he takes your rook? No, or my knight either. Or. No, no, no. Say suppose you do this. Hmm. If she takes it, is it good for you? Uh yeah, because then I'll take his rook with my pawn, but then it'll be a back-to-back -back pawn, which is not a strong combination. Well, that's okay, but uh, okay. Is, uh, what is more important here is this exchange good for you? Exchange of pieces. 
I will be material up. Yes. So, yeah. so as per the football theorem, it's very good because yeah. you have like knight and rook. Correct. So yeah. what the football theorem basically says is that if a team has eleven players in mm. football and one player goes out from a team, eleven mm. versus ten mm. is fighting. 10 mm. versus 9 is fighting 8 9 versus 8 is fighting but trade down trade down trade down you come to 2 mm. versus 1 that is no longer a fight yeah so, yeah correct 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 so here you are trading down trading down trading down now it's no longer a fight because he has nothing you have a rook which will just run and capture everything mm, yeah so this is a beautiful move rook at 6 mm. it's an excellent move Okay. Hmm. You did this. She took. Oh, she didn't take it. So, so again, for Kanis, it was important to take because that was a free knight. It was a punch, and it was. Yeah. And it. She did the value check. It should have realized. Oh, it's free. She did hmm. this. Now, your move. What is she punching? Her last move. Is it punching something? Last move punched uh, thin air. Um. <laughs> uh this i still had the opportunity from both my rooks to either or move to 6 but now think think what is she punching because in chess even if she moved this the rook is still punching something my knight so is that do the value check is the knight defended uh the knight is undefended and the val- yeah the knight is undefended So you lose and three you and you will gain nothing. Hmm. Yeah. So what should you do? Try to do. What was the thing? Um. Either take the pieces. Ah. Uh, right now I can't take it. So I would have. Um, either block it or threaten something of equal value. Then I would have. Yeah. Correct. Then either of the ah uh, the rook at D. Eight to B seven. Yes, very nice. If you make this move, you would be very careful here. Yeah. The other move, any other move? Mm. My king to D seven. Very nice. That's also a good move. Anything else? Um. Oh yeah, my my rook to. Um. No, actually, no. What's the other move? In this. Yeah, you said rook here. You said king here. Both are good moves. Anything else that you can think of? No. Uh, what else is there? Um. I could move my pawn and try to convert and like all that besides that. Yeah. No, but you can also move the piece that is attacked, right? The knight mm. is not pinned, so where will the knight be good? Hmm. Ah, uh, the knight going to um, c c six is a good position according to me, or for that matter, um, if yeah, or. Yeah, or or C six is one. Um, it could go to. I'm trying to see. Can it go to a position and give itself a? Give the other one a check. It can go to even um G six. It can go to F eight. F. It can go to F what? F eight. G eight. Also, it can go. To, sorry, G eight. G eight. Yeah, it can go to G eight as well. And um, it can go take a um, it can go to um, f five. Yes. So you have so many options with the knight as well, right? Hmm. Now one of the moves is very bad out of these four. Which one? One of them. One of them is very bad. Which one is very bad? I mean, the bad one is G six. Why? Because then the 
you basically move from a threatening position to another threat position yes and his rook takes it yeah and the rook takes it and it's undefended at that time there very good excellent so why is it not so bad here because then also the rook takes it mm. but at least we have our um pawn there to take it in case it does and it's not at least it's a great thing if he takes it because this is 5 you have 3 so if it takes take you then get then one i can take yeah five right. yeah okay so this was basically almost the entire game in the game you went here she played here and you took it which was very good for you because mm. now you are totally winning with extra material mm. and mm. Uh, and you managed to win this pretty well you know like you brought your rook you wanted to do back rank mate which was excellent mm. great thought she pushed you went in she came here you went after the pawns you took mm. a pawn you took another pawn so you were playing very I don't know well why move my king then but yeah huh Yeah, you could have maybe done something else. What else would you have done instead of moving the king? I would have taken the pawn which is hanging at h two. Very good. Tried out in fewer moves. Yeah. So you did this. She went here. We did this. She took here. You went after that pawn. Then you took that pawn. She pushed. You went here. You took another pawn. Very good. She played here. you took another pawn she took here and now you played excellently actually this entire thing a last 10 15 moves you played very well uh but now now look at this one maybe uh not needed because you gave this up for free mm -hmm. what should you do in such a situation when you are material up so much uh exchange down if needed now now you have exchanged almost everything only one pawn is left maybe you can go and capture mm. it but then what next lock the king to a corner i guess yes uh, you have to but the point is how is it easy to lock the king if you have like two major pieces did were you you mm. were taught this rolling checkmate right one yeah, file correct, one yeah. file one file you need two and unfortunately you mm. have one rook the other one is a knight mm. so it's a little more complicated to push it to the corner mm. so how mm. do you get another major piece on the board by advancing your pawn so promoting so your pawn a good idea here could be just to start pushing mm. so let's say here you push even if she takes the knight you push you push push make a queen and then you you use this queen and rook to do that rolling thing checkmate yeah correct yeah okay okay abhish this was your game against kanis yeah. and i think uh, although you didn't learn anything like a trap or anything i feel that you did learn something about punching uh, you did learn <laughs> about defense you did learn about attack you did learn about value check how you should check hmm. so do you have like energy for five more minutes or you're too tired yeah yeah absolutely yeah yes yeah then i was looking at the notes over there so that but yeah let us look at a game of your today's hmm. opponent just so that you know that it's not impossible to beat her <laughs> in summary here's the thing whenever opponent makes a move check if he is attacking something of yours if he is attacking something of yours then you need to do the value check in the value check two things can happen either is you are losing more than what you are gaining then it's a real punch if you are gaining more than what you are losing it's a fake punch let's look at what to do when it's a real punch you either capture the piece that is punching you you block that is you move away or you attack something of equal or greater value of your opponent when the opponent is not attacking you or if it's a fake punch you become an artist what do you do when you are an artist 
when you are an artist you can punch your opponent you can develop your pieces you can control the center or your you can bring your king to safety this is the summary of today's lecture